Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vikram and you are watching Tech Talks. So guys, earlier we have seen that how we can recover a deleted user by using LDP. And in today's video, we will see that how we can configure a roaming profile for an user. So, first of all, we should know that what is profile and how many types of profile and what, what is the difference between roaming profile and the local profile. So what is a profile? So a profile basically, uh, whenever users log on to the computer, will make up a profile and it consists of desktop, documents, and desktop settings, uh, wallpaper, screen server settings, like, etc. So this is, this is uh, termed as profile. And now, how many types of profile? There are actually two types of profile. One is local and one is roaming. And in today's video, we are going to see that how we can configure profile. So we'll provide the difference. Uh, we'll see the difference between the local profile and the uh, roaming profile. We'll see the advantages of roaming profile here, actually. So what is the difference, actually? So in a local profile, user won't get same settings and data everywhere. That means that if a user logs on to the PC A and then he changes something to the settings, he changes the wallpaper, now he logs off from the PC A, then the then that user logs on to the PC B, then he won't get the same settings and customization there as there. And uh, he has to do the same configuration and changes once again. Alright. So every time he has to make the customization according to the requirement. However, in case of roaming profile, user will find the same desktop and customization on every PC, on every domain PC actually, where he logged in. So whatever the customization he has made on a PC A, then he logs off and he logged on to the PC B, he will get the same customization, same folder, same wallpaper, same screen saver settings, etc. on the PC B. So this is the advantage of the roaming profile. So let's now see how we can configure a roaming profile for a user. Now I'm on my server. This is Windows Server 2010 R2. So first of all, on the server, we need to create a shared folder. Now let's go to drives. Let's go to drive D. We can we, you can create folders on any on any drives, but the, but we need to make sure that the folder is shared with full permission to everyone. So I'm going to create a folder here what we call this profiles profiles and then I'll right click on it and then share and share permissions and give permissions to everyone add and then read and write and then click on share all right your folder is shared done so one part is done the next part is to give uh, to give the profile path to the user. So now we need to go to the server manager and to click on tools and then active directory users and computers. This is my domain name and this is the default uh, folders and this is the fold folders where the default users exist. And now we are going to create a roaming profile. We are going to configure a roaming profile for the Larry. So let's double click on it. And then we have a profile tab here. And here we have profile path. We need to give the full UNC path for the shared folder. And the shared path is winsrp1. This is my server name. You can find server name from here. Like by right click on the PC and then properties. This is your server name. And then the name of the shared folder. Profiles. And then you can type the username. Like if you are sharing, if you are uh, creating a roaming profile for Larry, we can give the name to Larry. Otherwise, the best option is to type system variable. Username percentage. So the profile path is double backslash 
main SRE1, backslash profiles, backslash percentage, username, percentage. All right, I'll click on apply and OK. Now let's go to the client computer. I have two client computers. As you can see, one is client PC and one is client one. This is my two windows client computer. Now let's log into the client PC with the name of Larry, with the username Larry. With user Larry. Now I'm going to create a new folder here. Test. Test one. All right. I'm now going to change the wallpaper. Personalize. This is the cool wallpaper. Right. So we have two folders here over the desktop, and we have changed the desktop wallpaper as well. Now we are going to log off this account from the client PC, and now we'll log on to the client one PC. Logged off successfully. Now we have another client. And let's log on to this one. Now it will take time to pull the information from the server. All right. As you can see that we have two folders here that we created on client PC. And we have the same wallpaper here. You know, like so. This is the ROM, this is how the roaming profile works. It keeps the settings and folders and data on the server. And it gives the same experience on each and every PC on each and every domain PC you logged in, user logged in. So this is the main advantage of the roaming profile. So friends, now I, I hope now you know how to create the roaming profile and you have enjoyed my video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know via the comments per section below. And uh, as of now, I'm winding up this video. Thank you for watching.